Welcome to today's brief explanation of the skill of writing an informative ministry log report. This is Steve Gouge, your instructor. I welcome you back for another session. Every profession recognizes the importance of providing documentation or reports that are accurate and are used for evaluation. The ministry is no exception. In order to provide meaningful supervision, it's necessary for you to provide written reports for others to examine and offer feedback. This narrated PowerPoint aims to provide you with the tools and strategies to weave your ministry experience into a report that informs your field supervisor and me of the ministry you perform each week. Now, what will you learn? We will discuss what a ministry log report is and what it's all about. We will examine what a ministry log report contains. We will examine how to write a ministry log report. And then we will look at how to use the ministry log report in this course. On this slide, we will talk about what a ministry log report is. I would encourage you at this point to pause this presentation, go to Populi, and go to the Syllabus tab. On the right-hand side, you will see a file category. Under that, there are two documents that might be helpful for you to use in examining this PowerPoint presentation. One is a template for a ministry log report. The other is an example of a ministry log report. A student of mine, a former student, gave me permission to use this ministry log report as an example for other students to follow. If you have those two documents in your hand, I think it would help you to understand the presentation better today. So pause this presentation and come back to it when you have the two documents in your hand. A ministry log is a written summary. It's a report that's submitted to the field supervisor and the course instructor. It's a short report of ministry the student is pursuing, meetings you attend, assignments you have attempted or completed, events you have attended, and care you have provided for other people in a ministry setting. You will want to coordinate all of these items with the objectives you set forth in your supervised ministry learning covenant. Students will use a report form that I have mentioned that's found in Populi to communicate with your field supervisor and with me. These reports should be no more than two to three pages in length. On this slide, we will look at what a ministry log report contains and then how to write the report. There are three component parts of the report. We will look at each of those. Number one is background information. Background information is a detailed summary of the week's activities, plans, events, resources read or consulted, and issues that you have faced in ministry. Background information includes a listing of conferences, events, and ministries that you have performed. Second, how the items in the background section relate to the objectives of the learning covenant that you have put together. This needs to be very specific with students relating each item in their background list to an objective that you set up in the learning covenant. If an item doesn't neatly fit an objective, then that's okay. Just match as close as possible. Here's the third of these component parts that we're looking at, detailed comments or selected items. Students will select two items from the list compiled in the background section to write a more detailed report. Those include what happened, what went well, what did not go well, theological reflection, Additional comments can be added if you so choose. And then follow up. Now briefly, let's examine how to use a ministry report. 
One copy of the report must be sent to the professor of record. Professor of record is just simply a fancy title for me, your instructor. One copy must be sent to the field supervisor before your weekly supervisory meeting. You may discuss, if you decide to, you may discuss the contents of your ministry log report with your field supervisor. This document is a good starting point for discussion in your weekly meeting. However, remember, there may be items that are more pressing that you want to discuss with your field supervisor, and you are given that leeway. We've explored some of the ins and outs of creating a ministry log report that captures the essence of your weekly ministry. Remember, your logs are not just records. They're windows into the soul of your ministry. Document your journey so that you can discuss your ministry with your field supervisor and gain his expertise each week. This ends the presentation.